So yeah. you so you think most men care care about body count? Uh, I see, believe I think I got some edge. You you um, you found out that I had some edge. Oh what what happened? Oh, babe. So, <laughs> what, I'm just saying. No, I'm just, <laughs> babe, I'm just saying. I like that. <laughs> we had some fun times, right? Yes, babe. We've had some of fun course. times, and were they quote unquote squares? Not even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want boring sex yeah. and so a lot of times women think that a square a good guy yeah. they won't snatch her up and choke her and smack her the way that she wants to be they don't done. know no so. better this is an Iwebu production period hey, Michael B. Jordan recently on the red carpet <laughs> for Creed 3 was approached basically interviewed on the red carpet by someone that he went to high school with this young lady had been calling him corny in high school she had recently talked about it on a podcast that she's on too and she talked about how you guess he walked around with his head shot i guess he was maybe wanting to be in acting at that time yeah. and just said he was just like a corny dude so he caught up with her on that red carpet and this is what he said michelle we got michael b jordan the director mm -hmm. and the star of creed 3 and you know we know each other we go way back all the way to chad science in newark okay what a corny kid right <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not say I that. Misquoted for sure. No, so you did not hear me say cry. I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. How is the difference between you actually directing and working with the same people that you were directed with versus? Uh, it, it was it was awesome. You know, I'm having, it's a family vibe. Yeah. The last nine, nine years of my life. Um, I spent on the Creed films. Uh, they're very supportive. You know, Tessa, uh, Felicia, Rashad, Wood Harris, people that see me grow up. And uh, for the fact that I stepped behind the camera and finally got a chance to direct them, they, they, they loved it. They embraced it. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. And was it difficult for you mentally because you're coming out of a different space? I didn't know, I didn't know he was doing the athletic gear. I mean, I was standing in. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, I... I now, now he remembered. I... Love this, okay? I, you my, would, huh? You I would. would. You would. Why, why would I? Because because, why, because what you what what did you what did you just said about me before? No, I didn't say you was corny. I said you were square. I mean, you are. It, but like, okay, uh, ladies, back me up on this. Y'all know the new thing is, and and, and what, that's what they call y'all. Like that's what the world. I think they put corny and square kind of in the same. Yeah, it's kind of the bunch. same thing. But the the definition to me of like a corny square dude is like a good integral, great character. He's at home. He loves me. He's taking care of the bills. He ain't out in the streets. Like that's a, you know. And then you also were like you weren't, you weren't like yeah how you doing like it. You had a very like hey sister like hey sis you know it wasn't very. You know, like you were just focused, See, like him. He had he was walking around with his head shot. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like he was just a focused young dude. Probably you know hadn't fully went through his glow up season. You know quite yet. He might have had a big head and a little body. You know, you know. Like when I met you, you didn't have this and this uh, and you know just it was all, on the way though. No, it's it wasn't. I encouraged <laughs> that. Um, yeah, but I just think it's funny how he was butthurt. Like he actually was butthurt about that. Heck and yeah. Like, cause he like, even for him towards the end of the interview, for him to play her off, start <laughs> dapping dude up. What's good, bro. <laughs> what's good, what's the boy? Hey, see you. <laughs> yeah, what's up with your little interview here? You hear my my premiere? Yeah, my premiere. That is so wrong that you're excited about but, that. Okay, let me tell y'all why yes. I'm so excited about this. Number one. I never knew, number one, where I come from, being corny in square isn't dope. They have a negative connotation. They're not like really like you're you're dope if you're somebody calls you corny in square, we we be ticked off. So the first time you even said something like that to me, I was like, hold up, that's disrespectful. What do you, you hold up? Like, what the heck you mean? Like, hold up, you know, and you wouldn't you didn't mean it. Now let me make sure y'all sure say this like Definitely dang not. TK going hard on her, man. Talk uh -uh. about like, I would no. be like oh, my, baby, my wife clear. respects me, yeah. honors me, everything. Don't get it wrong. She meant it in in a very pure way, but it hit me because I come from KC, you know, Ruskin High School to be exact. If you was a square, you was corny, any of that type of stuff around my way, you was soft. You ain't dope. You ain't no, nothing about that is anything good. Yeah. So but, you know, so to see him get at her like that, because I'm like, I was like, when my wife said, babe, you, you look 
Yo, Cordy, you're square. I know, it's man, nothing I bad. Says it it's nothing bad. Yo, my, my daughter says, Dad, oh, Dad, oh, you're, Dad you're a square. <laughs> oh, you're a square. Because I had to, I told her what a square was. And she's like, oh, Dad. Yeah, well, you're a square. You're a square. Right? Oh, that's so good. You're a square, Dayani. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway. She said she's going to marry a square. She said she's going to marry a square. Hey, <laughs> yes. and guess what? I do want her to. That's Please, fine. That's God. fine. But, like, <laughs> you know, that it can, it can hit the, the wrong way. It gets the wrong twist on it. Hers so was negative, though. Like, oh yeah, she, girl, that was an wait, admiration. No, 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 no. Yeah. So I'm glad he wrote up on her. Like, oh no, <laughs> no, that, no. I heard you on it. That's what you said. So I felt like I felt like he was standing up for every, I guess, corny slash square dude. I guess I may be in the club. Hey, it is what it is. Because when you told me that, I was like, oh, the girls in school probably call me that they call because Russell Simmons because that. the 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 you know the little kind of hood girls that I would try to deal with back in the day or or whatever. I didn't get as much play with them. You know what I'm Like, I didn't get that much play with them. They wanted the dude who was a little bit more thuggish, rough life, selling drugs, all of that. I was the corny square guy. And look at the corny square guy now. That's what he, that's what he, that's, that, I love that. Look at the corny square guy now energy he was giving. Because all of them women who denied me, I feel the same way too. Like, oh, mm -hmm, yeah, look at, look at my wife. Oh, yeah, what's up? Hey, it's the corny square guy. What's up? You might be watching this now. Y'all see up? how personal he's taking I this? love the, every single <laughs> bit of this. Right now, I just think that we should reverse this, right? We make it look bad to be corny or square or whatever. Yeah, but these I'm are the guys, sure. like you said, that's taking care of their home. Yeah. These are the ones that are honoring their women. Um, these are yeah. the guys that are getting their money Integrity. straight, their yeah. credit straight. These are the guys that are setting, making sure their family got life insurance. You feel me? Yeah. Like these are Come the guys <laughs> who um, are not ending up in prison. Yeah. These are the guys that's not that that will check you and will mess you up if you mess with them, yeah. but it don't look like they will. Okay, yeah. you better watch out. I was telling you the other day. I was like watching the MMA. I was like, man, they might. Don't be messing with some of these white boys out here. Yeah. They might look like some corny squares. Right. They'll put, put your you mug, put you in a submission hold. I remember, yeah. I remember this dude Shark Bait. They they would tell me some stories about Shark Bait because Shark Bait is small white guy. But if you mess with him, he'll put you in a submission and have you out on the streets looking crazy. Yeah. So again, I just feel like that should be what we the corny square should be the new lit. Mm. It should be the new gangster. That should be what's up right now. Hey, women, y'all should be looking for a corny square guy. And hey, guess what? No, 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 no. And don't look for us after you, don't let me, hopefully I don't get too graphic for y'all, get ran all through, all through the 20s, okay, all through your 20s. And this is what the red pill community be talking about, and I ain't going to get it, y'all want to look up what red pill is about, but... This is what they be talking about. Don't look for the corny square guy who got his stuff together after you done let the, I guess, the hood dude. The gang. The ga gangster dude or whatever. The, the whole gang. Thuggish dude. They didn't, they didn't ran through you and messed you up and got you hooked, hooked up with a bunch of kids and all that stuff. And now you looking for us in your 30s, huh? Hmm. Okay. Corny square guy that came up. He 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 ain't he don't look the same no more. He ain't got his fly. Well, you know tracking, what I'm saying? Yeah. He got you know. Got he might have now. his degree. He might have his master. He might be a pastor now. He may yeah. be leading a company now. Maybe a big time law. entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> the corny square <laughs> guy that came up. <laughs> I just felt. I'm sorry. I just felt. felt I, something in your spirit. I just. I had a connection with Michael B. Jordan on that, <laughs> y'all. I I stayed there with him. What's yeah. up? It's the corny square guy. Yeah. So hopefully one of you know the chicks that turn me down or whatever oh, you was is looking down, at babe. the. Oh, probably maybe not not much, but Dang. I didn't get as much play from the the more I guess hood girls, not the, just the hood girls, but the the popular ones. Oh, I didn't okay. I didn't get play from popular girls. Yeah, just point okay. blank. I, yeah. I'm not gonna front it. I ain't gonna make it like it's oh, whatever. I didn't I didn't get that that play until well, look, until I now. got to my twenties. You You're know, with a popular girl. I was the popular oh. girl. Oh, good. Yay. See, y'all look at me. Look at me now. Are you gonna look at me? Look at me now. You understand? So again, I believe that corny square should be the, the should be the new cool. It yeah, should be the new dope. Get you a corny square guy, women, because we up. I think What's it's. I, I'm probably about to like reach on this statement, but I almost think it's kind of high key demonic to even like title that, like title a good man as a cornball or or. Yeah. And so even as you were saying it. I was even saying like for some women that they 
we like to call black women that are assertive and decisive aggressive. Mm. And I showed Hamdi the definition. I'm like, people love using the word aggression, aggressive. The, the word means violent, like mm. being coming off as violent. It's like, she's not violent. She's decisive and she knows what she wants. Right. Yeah. Even while you were speaking, I was just like, I, we need to change that. Like, no, mm. that's just a, that's a good man. You know what I'm saying? Like, because when I think about all the guys that they all, all the guys that they put in the category of corny, these are just men that, like you said, they you ain't got to battle with them to get get life insurance for they for their family. Like, man, can, we can do it this way and yeah. that way. You ain't got to battle with them to yeah. just work every day. Like, yeah. they're just good men. They're going to get up. They're going to take care of their family. And so yeah. it's kind of actually sad. And I think it's also like a media cultural thing mm. to get women and keep women in a cycle of running through these bad dudes. Like, yeah. even as far as like being like... Um, I'll, I'll just uh, now I'm gonna name them a good man, right? Yeah. I even think about how you know it, it's it's always been a saying: a good girl wants a, a bad guy, the bad girls want the good girls, like or mm. you know what I'm saying, the yeah. opposite, <laughs> yeah. vice versa. And I even think about like when I was dating, uh, mm. you know, the, a dude that was doing stuff he wasn't supposed to do. I knew in my mind, I, there's no way I'm having your kids and marrying you. <laughs> like yeah. I knew that, but it was a thrill, and it was like, mm. oh, we. Running from the, you know, we yeah. in the car, we swerving, and this is this is fun, but mm -hmm. it's immature to do yeah. that after a while. Now I, I stopped that at nineteen. That was that was it. You know, I didn't go through. So you didn't that. go through your whole twenties. Absolutely yeah. not. Once once me and dude was done, I started dating men that were saved. Mm -hmm. So it, I didn't, I didn't deal with nobody else like that. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not, I'm not. So yeah, I think that we should just rename it to know that yeah, media is calling it corny. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a good man, and women. This is the type of this is the type of men that you want as the father of your children, yeah. as someone that you can know is going to provide and protect yeah. and lead your household. And yeah. so I I understand him. You know, I definitely do. I definitely understand it. But at the same time, like stay humble though. Love yeah. on sis. Love on sis. He humbly said, "Much love." Nah, no, no, he said, "It's his okay." He let her know. Was very he said, much "It's okay." Much love, but then he said in his boy. And he was like, I ain't gonna lie, oh, yeah, I'm doing this little interview thing. with this chick over here. But it was good, yeah. bro, baby. <laughs> Why you dress up? I didn't know you was going to dress up. Baby. Oh, you man, was, he said I was still trying to you stay You there, huh? Man, <laughs> hey, I, after that, man, you know, Michael B. Jordan just did what all guys, you know. And she and the thing is, like, like those, me, type, those type of women. Who categorizes that, man. I, he did it for I us. didn't know. I thought I was the first one to tell you that. So you, you was. So why but, when, but when you said that, I was like, you know what? People probably been thinking that the whole time because I'm not like Namdi. Let me tell you how Namdi is rough. Like Namdi, you gangster. know how you know how some dudes are like outwardly lustful. They're they, you know, you walk away, they turn <laughs> their heads, and or you'll yeah. catch moments where they talking to they do like, hey, she got a fatty. You know, yeah. like it's just a certain aura that you do not have. And so even like in the beginning, like, you know, remember I told you when we were dating, you was like a little nervous around me. I was like, oh, <laughs> look at him. Like, he's nervous around me. And I'm like 10 years younger than him. This is crazy. Come on, see, don't say it. My wife is eight years younger than me, y'all. Do not let her say 10 years again. <laughs> eight is different than 10. Don't have it's me. My not. daddy was nine years older than so, my mama. So nine nine is not years 10. was my breaking point. Nine is not 10. And he was the youngest chick that I ever talked to. Youngest chick that I ever talked to, ever. The, the the closest from there was five years before you. And so yeah. I and I made that person look Oh, but the point that bad, but the ahead. point that I was making is like, um, you just have a very clean character. Like it's yeah. just clean. Like it's not <clears throat> so that's probably why they just say, Oh, he's just a square. Like, you know, you think mm. about the guys that are in school that's just good. They ain't in trouble. They they yeah. good students. Like they're just it's just it's a compliment. That's what they said about Russell Wilson. I guess they called yeah. him a square. And, and I was hearing about how some football players was like, one of the guys, I think it was Fred Taylor on the Pivot podcast said that he he was like, yeah, I mean, he's just a guy like if we went to get a drink, I'm I'm probably not going to have Russell come with yeah, us. Yeah, you don't get invited. Like, yeah, and that's, yeah, I don't get invited to service. I mean, you don't. I'm like, oh, y'all was going, oh, oh y'all went out? Oh, y'all went out. Y'all didn't, okay, oh. y'all didn't invite me. Okay. All I didn't right. Get, get invited to cool. that, to that function, I Wonder guess. what happened there. Yeah, they. Guess they thought I was just too holy to be able to. And, yeah. and it's not even like 
bad stuff. I'm okay to be with some of my brothers. Nambi is thing. a man of God. Yeah, I, mean, I just want to yeah, let y'all know that. I just, he be on the front. Y'all, could be, be, y'all could be doing y'all thing, no. but I don't got to participate. Yeah, you don't part- participate, but if you're close to someone, babe, you will be on like, ah, bro, you know you ain't supposed to be going over her house. Yeah, I mean, I got to so, tell but, you. But yes, but they don't want it's that. It's my responsibility. Yeah, but they don't want that. That's why they don't invite you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They, and they don't see it. Some of my part, they, ain't gonna, they, don't, they don't tell don't me, invite sir. You. They lie about I don't about find stuff. out about stuff until after everything happened. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't know that y'all was even talking. I didn't know that. Right. None of that. Oh, like, you got a two-year-old? Nobody wanted to tell, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wanted to tell me. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to tell me because I guess I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm going to try to lead them away from the stuff because, again, we always say we got the scars to show it. We don't want people to go through some of the pains that we've had to go through from our mistakes. So, yeah, yeah I guess I'll be the square guy. But dudes don't like that, babe, because like mm. when non-integral guys get together and they out to eat and, and they bobbing with each other, yeah. you know, they be talking about other women, booties and breasts yeah. and, you know, so-and-so and yeah. fine. And yeah. you're not joining in that yeah. and you will correct it. Yeah. Like, that's going to be a problem for most dudes. Like, be, pe- yeah. men in the church, saved men, all of it. Fall yeah. in the category of, like, you know, just not being, not not walking in integrity yeah. when they're not around their wives. And I think, you know, you, you come off as cool because they see us and we're transparent. And then they're like, I feel like this is how they went. They, how people are with the both of us. Like, they'll see this. They're like, oh, they yeah. down to earth. Yeah. Like, they seem hella cool. Then they'll get in and be like, oh, y'all really. Y'all really about that life. Huh? Y'all really, really about like Y'all, y'all really, really about that life. Y'all really don't be playing about none of this. Like, like oh, you ain't about to roll <laughs> up with me. Like, you ain't about yeah. to go to the to little club real quick yeah, with me. Like, to go to strip club with us. Or just nothing, a strip like, club one time. Like, oh, you ain't about <laughs> to join this conversation where we talking about a man's, uh, you know, uh, private area. Like, yeah. no. We don't. We actually yeah. don't like what we talk about. <laughs> who we are is a, a is constant. So I mm. also think that's what makes you stand out and become a square. Is because yeah. unfortunately, unfortunately, most of the world don't walk in integrity. Hey, it is what it is. Hey, listen, I want to know what do y'all think, man? Listen, <clears throat> for me, square guys, we up. I guess I'm, if we're in that category Let's with the Russ, the Good Russell men. Wilsons, the Michael B. Jordans. Hey, I I stand with some of those brothers. Good men. Hey, listen. Good, good men. Yes. But, hey, I guess we in that, but we up right now. Mm-hmm. We what's up. It is what it is. And we not taking y'all application after it's been tankered with. I want, oh my goodness. And messed I, all up and smeared all up and y'all name is all over these streets. Baby, go you ahead. gotta, that, that, that's painful. What? Because people out here, they, they 35 and they didn't experience life, so they can't have hope to look for a good man. A good I mean, man, they I can, mean. as long as he okay with it, I guess. So yeah. you so you think most men care care about body count? Uh, I believe most of them do, even if they don't say it. Mm. Yeah, that's a whole. That's a great subject. Yeah, we can definitely talk about because that's a whole nother thing. I mean, we supposed to be free flowing, but, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we 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 definitely <laughs> can get into that. But I think that most men do care. This man cared. Okay, you I wanted can, to know. You didn't everything. ask me my number. I believe I asked you your number. Yes, I did. I'm pretty no, sure you did. I did. I think I asked your number. You wanted yeah. to know if it was if if I wanted I had to know if it was any people that, I knew. that you knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanted was, to know that specifically, but yeah. then also, you know, you told me your number because I had to know the number. Dang. I don't play about them numbers. Uh, so yeah, that's a that's, that's a wild. whole <laughs> another subject. But either way, listen, square guys, I guess, or good guys, we're up now. It is what it is, okay? We tap, we take it applications and oh, we're thoroughly looking over to see if you qualify. Now. That's what Go I wanted ahead. to say, <laughs> ladies. I want to ask y'all and comment down below, like. Are y'all in a season where y'all still dating like dudes that's out here weird and bad? Like y'all know how y'all see. I know you're not gonna know these people, but like mm. our, I think our name is Ariana or Megan the Style. You know, y'all know how they still dating like real thug dudes and like dudes that still trapping in like obviously these are not saved women, but are y'all still kind of into like worldly guys that are like kind of saved, not really, or are y'all like open to like that it's crazy that we have to ask this but i just know some women want a man that's kind of like a little edge but that little edge be a little sin <laughs> i think but, but see i think i got some edge you you um, you found out that i had some edge on oh, what what happened oh babe. So, <laughs> what, i'm just saying no, I'm just, <laughs> babe, I'm just saying like, like <laughs> you don't give it away well you oh acting to these people Please, i'm cutting put this our out. kids away <laughs> don't cut it out don't cut it out DJ don't cut it out either. DJ, <laughs> DJ. DJ yeah, DJ's the one that edits the podcast. Shout out to DJ. Shout out to DJ. All right, DJ. Lamar, listen, he, don't cut that out. But you gave it away. I wasn't wasn't for the end. No, because I thought you was about to go into it. But either way, no, 
Y'all know that. You found, yeah. It's getting deleted. No, don't, 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 don't delete it. So anyway, overall, but you know that I'm, I, I can, you know, I, we, we, you and I <laughs> have had some fun times. Let's just say that, right? We had some fun times, right? Yes, baby. We've had some of fun course. times. And were they, quote unquote, squarish? I mean, they, were, they weren't against God. None of that. Nah, Don't get it wrong. Been sinning. Not. But nah. were there squarish at all? Not even a little bit. <laughs> so, bit. anyway, don't, hey, listen, don't underestimate the quote unquote you know square what? guy, no. Cordy okay, guy. So, Y'all don't know. He give you the time of your life. No, I'm not but, talking about that way. Just it always. Just yeah, no, nice and No, intimacy is a big part. No, that's a big part. Because I, I think that's, I think that's what they're thinking. Like, when they think of a, like a, a dude that's rough, like he going to put it down. Like that's what they yeah, thinking they about think. the, about the thugs, about the dudes that's like out here bad. Like uh-huh. he gonna pull my hair, he gonna give me yeah. that thug love that most women really want. And then when you get like, you know, it's almost like, and this is not you, but if you mm. see like a certain church guy with a suit mm. on, brown suit, and you like, I just know he ain't just a nice, respectful guy. Yeah, but you, but women, and just like y'all think about women, women like you can see a woman be like, she's probably she's probably good in bed. Like that's how y'all mm. are. Listen, that's how the mind goes. Mm. And so if a woman is seeing this dude, he ain't really like the sharpest. He ain't really like dressed to the T. He kind of just real, hey, how you doing? You know, it's like, girl, I got time for no little week. Like, I don't got time to be bored in the bedroom. So that's kind of, it's kind of dope that you brought that up at the same time. Because I also think that's a part of it too. Like, we don't want boring sex. And so a lot of times women think that a square, a good guy They won't snatch her up and choke her and smack her the way that she wants to be. They don't know no better. Everybody's not like that. that, That's a good point, though, because I do think that's the fear. So, but yeah, I just want to encourage (laughs) y'all. They they are up. This is why we call it pillow talking with the Wables because it's gonna get real. This is soft version. Actually, this is very soft. This is a very soft version. Straight up, it is. I'm trying to scale back. I've been looking at my videos. I'm like, dang, I talk about penis and sex and everything in almost every podcast because all Christians is dealing with all of that. Yes, the ones that shouldn't be and the ones that's married. Yes, the one that married is bored in the bedroom, and the one that ain't married having the time of their life in the streets. Unfortunately, unfortunately, so (laughs) we do got to talk about those well, we things. We got to be but... real. We got to keep it real. That's why y'all came yeah. here with Pillow Talk with the way boo. So, yes. listen, that's what we said. Listen, do y'all, what do y'all, <laughs> I want to know, what do the ladies, what do the ladies think a square is? Okay, a square <laughs> or corny guy. I want to know in the comments, what is the square or the corny guy, man? And what do y'all think about square or corny guys? So, I want to know. Would you marry a square would guy? Would you marry a square or corny guy? want to know about y'all. Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you could do us a huge favor, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Yes, and please do not forget to hit that notification bell. We need y'all to be locked in every single time we drop this fire content. Also, we need y'all to follow us on all social media platforms at the Eweboos. And look, we will see y'all on the next video. Holla. (laughs)